For the Astros game tonight, clearly. <laughs> is the main game in town. I'll tell you what, the forecast couldn't be any better. We'll see a drop in the humidity. Still going to be warm out there with temperatures hovering in the low 90s by game time. But the chances you will see some rain will be few and far between the closer you are toward I-10, only at about a 20% chance, but the deeper you are, closer you are to the coastline with the frontal boundary stalling out, there's a better chance of seeing some of that wet weather. Now, as of now, we're seeing downtown mostly dry, but you can see the ceiling of clouds starting to lower. So we're going to keep a close eye on the visibility in and around Harris County this morning. We do have a breeze coming in out of the south-southwest. Those along the coastline, temperatures are in the upper 70s there. And as I mentioned, we do have some pockets of fog. Not as widespread as it was yesterday, but there is a chance we may see some of that fog, especially south of I-10, south of the front. That's where we're going to see the worst of that fog developing over the course of the morning, at least for the next couple of hours until the front clears out. Notice the temperatures at this hour. We are still stuck in the upper 60s to low 70s. This will not be the case tomorrow morning once the front pushes through. Where is that front right now? It's still to the north of Houston. You can see the leading line of showers and storms extending well into Mississippi, portions of uh, the eastern seaboard. Here you can see we're on the tail end of this, the weakening end of this front. There's still enough uh, dynamics, enough energy where we are seeing some stronger thunderstorms, some loud thunderstorms around the Woodville area, the city of Jasper, also portions just to the east of New Caney. Also seeing some heavy pockets of rain, really losing the energy for any strong thunderstorms on the northwest side of town. But these are still some heavy downpours that could keep those roads nice and slick this morning. Now, look what happens during the afternoon. Because of the proximity of the front, it doesn't clear quite the coastline as far uh, south as we would like. You can see that the showers and thunderstorms will still be with us. So we're going to keep at least that 20 to 40 percent chance of rain and thunderstorms. Otherwise, highs today, very warm. In the low to mid 90s, it will be a dry heat. Tomorrow morning, we will get a break with a clear sky and calm wind. Those temperatures tomorrow, not quite as toasty and it will feel drier, but the winds will be switching back on shore and that's going to set us up 
for what could be an active end to the weekend. Sunday and Monday still looking at potential for some widespread showers. In fact, we've increased the rain, a better opportunity of widespread showers.